Kelly, thanks so much for joining us. I know you've had a busy day. It was a very busy morning at the Supreme Court. How did arguments go today? Yeah, Elizabeth, nearly three hours of oral arguments here, and it's the last uh, set of oral arguments they are going to hear this term. And the justices really touched on okay. the weight of this moment, talking about how this is a ruling for the ages, really saying that this isn't just about the presidency, but the future of America. But these justices were really trying to get to the point of official versus private act. What happens uh, when, the, when former President Trump is the president? Is he immune from all of this? Asking the question in general, is a president above the law? And they couldn't seem to find that fine line of the difference between the two. Uh, I wanted to play a little bit about the hypothetical questions they had to say. So I could just recap a little bit from there. Justice Kagan asks, asking, what if the president ordered the military to stage a coup? Is that an official act? So Trump's lawyer said it could well be, but that would have to be fact specific, arguing that Trump would have to be impeached before he could be convicted for ordering as such. So what we are trying to glean here from these questions, really how they may sway in their decision, um, but it's really hard to tell. It might be something like passing this back down to the lower court, which would delay this even further, which would be somewhat of a win for former President Trump here. Elizabeth. All right, Kelly. And did we hear from the former president? Did he speak about what we heard? Like you said, it was about three hours of testimony. Yeah, we've heard from him a few times throughout the day, but we did just hear from him leaving the court in New York. As you mentioned, he wanted to be here in Washington, D.C., but the judge would not let him. This is something that the president and his team are playing or paying very close attention to. Uh, he says and continues to say that a president should be immune. Here's more of what he had to say moments ago. The U.S. Supreme Court had a uh, monumental hearing on immunity and the immunity having to do with uh, presidential immunity. And I think it was made clear, I hope it was made clear, that a president has to have immunity or you don't have a president. Or at most you can say it would be a ceremonial president. So they aren't expecting a decision in this until likely late June, which would make it difficult. That would be four months before the November election. So we may not see a trial uh, before voters head to the polls. Elizabeth. Right. So perhaps a win on that front for the Trump team. Kelly Meyer, thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.